Welcome back. Another dancehall bombshell this week. Veteran dancehall star Mr. Vegas has pledged to turn his life over to the Lord. I am blessed. But before we declare this an epic win for Christendom, we should remind ourselves that this isn't the first time the often controversial Hedzai dance solo sought repentance. I need to be closer to God first of all, okay. because I've, I've, I've been having spiritual awakening for, for like, not just now, but, but throughout my whole career. That was eight years ago. Mr. Vegas is now on our stage to explain what makes this the real deal. <laughs> Mr. Vegas, <laughs> if, <laughs> is it, is, are you even still Mr. Vegas? <laughs> Of course, I'm Mr. Vegas. You're Mr. still Vegas. going by that Mr. name. Mr. Vegas um, was given to me. Mr. Vegas was given to me as a kid growing up, you know. Okay. Um, of course, you know, by my cousin. So you know, that's a, a pet name that I have, um, you know, for years. You know, so um, it's not like Mr. Vegas is oh, no this oh so holy man that I want even people to stop calling me Mr. Vegas and all that stuff. And you know, talking about if it's the real deal now for Chris, mm. what Chris did you call it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this no, man, this, is, this is basically, um, you know keeping a promise that I made with God. Mm -hmm. You understand? On more than one occasion, you mentioned eight years ago. You understand? Um, you know, you know, you, you heard attempted me, them, you heard right? me, you heard me, um, you know, saying that maybe eight years ago, maybe I've said that to God maybe over a mm hundred -hmm. times. Okay. You understand? So at some point you have to keep your side of the deal with God. I remember just getting into music business and my mom was a, you know, little lady walking around washing people clothes. And I said, Father God, if you could just bless me with one song to take care of my mom, I'm going to serve you and all of these things. And it, I'm, I've done 20 years in dance and music. Um, and, and I just think, you know, after so many promises, I was just on a flight in December um, going to France. And I've never been on a plane before where all the things, them, you know, start coming down. What they call the, the ear mask. Mm -hmm. You know, start coming down. And the pilot was like, put the cigarette out, put the cigarette out. And I was like, who would have on this plane and I was smoke, you know? You know, that time, the, you know, the whole thing in, in France where the terrorists, you yes. know, did the shooting, and I was like, yo, the man, they really get on a plane here. You know, so, you know, the pilot was like, you know, put the cigarette out, and, you know, it was chaos in the plane, and then the plane, like, start descending fast, bam. Mm -hmm. So we're on the plane like this now, and I'm, and I'm, like, on the plane like this, and a little old man is in the corner seat, and the man looked through the window and said, the plane is on fire. And I was like, fire? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, but I think we're going to make it to Scotland, and then we're going to France, and I was like, so I'm there sitting and waiting for this plane not to burst in flames and whatever because my biggest fear is traveling on an aircraft, you know, um, and, you know, getting killed in an aircraft, you know. And I was like, dear, and that one hour, 45 minutes that the plane was just there and we know nothing what was happening, you know, I just started, you know, like just thinking about all the promises I made to God, mm -hmm. how much time I promised God that I was going to serve him. And I was like, Father God, you know what? If you land this plane today, I'm going to serve you. This was December. Okay. Came back and I put it on my Facebook and, and it was real emotional. And right after that, like the next week, Jay Capri died. Yes. And then after Jay Capri died, Lady Sartre and Christian. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Jano. So you wanted to do it at that yeah, time? Yeah, I do it now. If never do it now, them roast me. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you were fearful of being roasted? Of course, because the human being inside you're going to look at it and be like, people are going to say, Vegas, I follow Lady Sartre and all of these things and try upstairs Lady Sartre. So of course, you know, but you know what? If something had happened to Mr. Vegas during that time till now, from that time till now, you know, what would I, what would I say to God? So you have what been, would my answer be? So, so you've been a closeted convert? I've been, I've been asking God for direction. I've been asking people when I'm going through things. I remember when O'Neill died and um, I was doing this prayer vigil out at half a tree. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole place was just full with people, filled with people. And people were just like, coming around and calling Mr. Vegas phone. Yeah, well, let's go down to public and pray now for O'Neill. You know, his foot move, his hand move, he's out of surgery. And, you know, I went to him and I said, Father God, mm -hmm. you know something I'm ready for that something here. You know something I have the biggest song now and hot work. I'm going to sing hot work and praise you. Mm -hmm. You know, and all of these things. And I was there and even when they went to like some prayer meetings, I, I totally turned my phone up and didn't, you know, go to the prayer meetings. And then I called Papa San. And I said, son, what is happening to me? And he was like, they're talking to me. And I'm telling him my problems why I can't even go to church now. I can't serve God now like how you telling me to serve God because I can't fool God. Mm. And he said, make the first step and God do the rest. So you have reached that place now? Of course. Sorry. And when was this exactly? 
I'm just the other day, I was in a taxi, and a lady, you know, was playing a Christian CD, a gospel CD, and I, she was about to take it out. And, you know, me and I started talking about God, and, you know, we back and forth, and she took the CD out and gave it to me, and I put it in my vehicle, and I've been listening to just gospel songs since, you know, um, like spiritual music, music like can make your soul feel good. Mm -hmm. So I just think listening to, like, Glacier Robinson, you know, hold my hand today, and, you know, you know, never could have made it without you. I just, I just realized that, you know, it's just a different feeling, and it's, a, it's, a, it's just a feeling, it's a good feeling, and I was like, yeah, I want more of this. I want more of this. I want to feel this way. I want to, like, be able to, like, live a different life. I want, so I how want... did you go public? Well, right. you know, I have my little MV corner where I speak to people, and it was on my MV corner. I basically say, you know what? I think I'm, you know, playing around with this, calling too long or whatever people want to call it. But, you know, me, myself, it's a relationship with me and God. You understand? It's a relationship with me and God. I'm just, I'm just public with it because, you know, yes. the, the song says, you know. So, you know, so, so I'm right in saying that you were closeted. And when you were making those gospel songs, right. they were part of your trying to serve, uh, trying, you know, to you be, know what? trying to come out it's not, it's, uh, You know, closet is not, it's not a good word to use because I've never hidden the fact that I'm a God-fearing person. I'm a person who's always putting well, so out, putting us, out all these gospel songs and mm -hmm. all of these things. And you know, some people already think that Mr. Vegas is a Christian and all of that stuff because music that I put out and, and all that stuff. I'm surprised it's, that there's a video now. It's a the gospel same, song and video. It's the same. Really? It's, it's the same happenings. Yeah. In December, when I made that tearful, you know, you know, promise to God and all that stuff, I started working on the gospel album. I, I've said it to you, yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, that yes. I'm working on this gospel album. Um, and we basically parked the gospel album because, as, of course, I said to you, I, I didn't want to like, you know, like, oh, Vegas is a Christian now. Mm -hmm. And people be like, oh, see, you know, just a look attention, him just a fall and all that stuff. So the, 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 this is flesh and, you know, skin, flesh and bone. And, of course, you know, you're going to sometimes, you be know, get distracted. by what is said? I, of course. You're a human okay. being. Of course, you're going to, you know, especially when, you know, Lady Star just did it. Of course, you know, people is going to come at Mr. Vegas like, oh, it's just a show thing, it's just a fall thing. And the, the, I just think it was not the right time at that time. Um, I just think now is the right time. Mm -hmm. Now is the right time. The, those songs that were putting down, gathering dust, the video was shot, everything was set to release, all of that stuff. And I started working on the dance album. Now the dance album, you know, is backbench and the gospel album coming forward soon. Uh, and the, the dance album won't come? Of course, it's going to come out, of course, and the VP is going to put it out still because guess what? I'm not the, self, the, the selfish person who is going to be like, okay, shelf that. Because you have people like Natel, you know, Cleavy, all these people set up late night working Don't on spend this. Spend the money on it. Okay. Of course. All right, let's go to the song, right? When them feeling pain, them shout out Jesus' name. As the pain gone, them no call him again. Holy be God, no son over all things you reign. May the and me Jesus train. But who want bun bun? Who want dun dun? Who want zip up me mouth? Tell them fi come. They never send them, but I got send me come. Some man about Jesus, and me know them no mean that. Them All right, there you have it, Mr. Vegas on the Jesus train. That's the title of that of that, of that video and song. So, sir, so what's what will be eliminated from your repertoire? Of course, you know, um, you know, even without uh, me giving my life fully to God. You know, I basically started cleaning up, like, you know, because just even for my kids, my kids are getting older and stuff like that. So, of course, you know, at my age that I'm at right now, I'm doing this business so long. You know, I'm looking at people like Barry Salmon performing on a concert. You know, I have to prepare myself, you know, and I've been preparing myself, you know, with, with, with certain type of music. If you remember last year, I put a Lovers Rock and Soul mm -hmm. album, you know, you know, so. You, so you're saying that you've been preparing, clearly. Of course. And um, do you have a very, a ready catalog? that you can take to a repertoire, that you can take uh, to a concert. Of course, we have, we, have, we have I Am Blessed, we have Sweet Jamaica, we have Love Yourself, you know, so the type of music I want to do now is music that can uplift people's spirit and uplift people's soul and let people, lead people to Jesus Christ and lead people to God Almighty. Then, you know, you know without sounding like, oh, you know, Mr. Vegas is a madman now. Will you be trying to win souls from secular music, some of your compatriots in dance song? You know what, I spoke to Lady Sade the other day and she get this question all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know what she said to me? Celebrity soul is not more important than any other soul. Okay. You understand? So I'm not going after any you know, you know, preferred person. How much will you alter your lifestyle? Well, I know you've been preparing quietly, but right now, are you, would you say you're there? You're 100%, 100%. Um, the first night, you know, I gave my life to the God. 
you know, to God completely, to the Lord completely. Your food, your eat, what you eat, where you go to, No, no, I've you already, at, you know, I've already, I've already eat clean Recreation. from day, day one. You know, so I'm slim and, 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 and still work out and everything. I, so I you're take health, eating I take health holy seriously. food. <laughs> I take health serious, but, 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 but the first night, the first night I, 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 I basically, um, you know, you know, gave my life to God. But when tattoo, I woke up in tattoo, the morning, what about tattoos? I can, I, I'm looking at your tattoo. I don't have any laser to move my time. It's not, it's not what you see right. This is a skin, flesh, and bone. This is just skin, flesh, and bone. See? Will you get rid of the tattoo? This is skin, flesh, and bone. Yes. Right. So you know what? My soul is what. what Earring. Where's Earring? My <laughs> it's soul. In the video. Them, so Earring them gone. <laughs> 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 I took the earrings out. You know, you know, to clean them. I left them in a hotel room. So it's okay, not, that's so, not a big deal. Um, so you have a big show this weekend. Right. In New York. Right. Do they know that you're now a Christian artist? The, whole, the promoter. I that think. Is. I think. Of course, the promoters know. And, um, you spoke I, I, to I them. Make, yes, um, I did. And Bobby is is, is 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 really a good person. So Bobby do understand the type of show that we would like to do. Um, you okay. know, but but you know, it's not it's not in, in hiding. Mr. Vegas is not in hiding. Mr. Vegas is not like you know people that you know who, who's supposed to be hiding. People who do all of the wickedness and all of the, the okay. evil things. Then. I agree with you. <laughs> I congratulate you, sir. As you know, I did. When you came out, I. I what, say, just, what just remember, though, that <laughs> when, <laughs> when that day, you know, if you're not saved, you can't tell God, send me the congratulations. <laughs> 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 so a lot of people, I, there are a lot of people saying, congratulations, and then the, you know, they end the tweet. You know, I'm, a, I'm actually. It's not know, like you're after me, though. I'm actually, no, I'm not after you. It's not like that. Yeah. You know what? Because, because when for check this out, a lot of people send me a message. Oh, congratulations, Mr. <laughs> Vegas. I'm so glad they give your life to God. I soon do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, but what? What if something should happen to you tonight? You know, you can't, you can't, you no one knows <laughs> oh, the minute that, or. We get some you credit. Understand? No <laughs> one knows the minute that, it's there, they much credit. <laughs> well, you know, sir, you never can tell. On stage, maybe I will get a first taste of the gospel you in New York. Who knows? You know, you know. But you my are. shows are always filled. My, uh, my shows, I just perform in Canada and did a wicked gospel segment in my show. Mm -hmm. My shows are always filled with, um, you know, a, a gospel set. So it's nothing new, you know, okay. you know, I'm always, I, I have that side to me a long time ago, so it, that song was sitting there, you know, Jesus train. We have other songs that, you know, was sitting there gathering dust, you know, because we were too worried about what people would say about Mr. Vegas. And trust me, you know what? I used to worry about that before I got saved. No, I don't even worry about that anymore. When people are come at me negatively right now, I just I kill them with positiveness and I say, you know what, brother? You know, me hear what I say still no, but... You can't say you never hear. Okay. All right, there you have him right here on stage, Mr. Vegas, the gospel artist. Stay with us when we come back. Secular. Bugle. <laughs> Live. Bye bye. Yeah, everything gonna blow. There'll be Rasta with some ism and make them broad. Fresh light out on the ghost with a green lot of prince and prince. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Well, you know, there's so much more where that came from. And all you have to do is to click subscribe and be on stage always